What's up everyone, welcome to another comparison video. Now in today's video, we're going to be comparing Bubble versus Bolt.new. Now first, I gotta say, I have experience with both of these platforms. I used to create web apps in Bubble and I used to do drag and drops there as well. And then I also used to, you know, use Bolt.new. Bolt.new is a, a much newer application or platform, should I say. Um, so yeah, uh, obviously comparing these two isn't really, um, you know, each platform is unique and it's in its own way. So it's really not that great to compare these two because these two are very different platforms, right? So Bubble is a no-code platform, right? And it enables users to basically design, build and deploy web apps, you know, with using like a drag and drop interface, you know, and this is usually done with like... Um, you know, something similar like Elementor, if you ever use Elementor. Um, and it's suitable for creating complex applications like, you know, SaaS platforms, marketplaces, CRMs. You have also templates that you can use inside Bubble. Uh, so as you can see, it's called Full Stack No Code App Builder. So uh, yeah, Bubble is really great for that. And it will always be great for building like no code applications. So if you don't want to code at all, Bubble is for you, right? Now, obviously, you know, there are some instances in Bubble where you have to actually use the code, but yeah, you get the point, right? On the left side, we have a really a platform that is totally different, right? You can create web apps with this platform, but you need some coding knowledge, right? Just typing in the prompt won't do, you know, uh, magic for you, right? You need to have some coding knowledge. So obviously, Bold.new is like an AI powered browser, right? Base tool. Uh, it's also designed uh, for like rapid prototyping, full stack web application development, stuff like that, right? It also leverages like natural language interfaces and web containers technology. So, you know, for example, if I go here and start a blog with Astro, it will actually go and it will actually, you know, uh, create like an entire blog, an entire website. So you can create web apps with this, uh, which is really awesome. But again, what I really like about... Um, Bold.new is how simple it is. As you can see, it already made a blog, uh, blog website for me. However, again, you will need to know how to code in order to actually navigate through the code because you know AI can help you 80% of the time, but 20% of the time you actually have to help yourself. So in terms of ease of use, right? Bubble again offers drag and drop editor, allows users to design interface, define workflows without actually coding. And uh, that's really, really great, right? It's very beginner friendly. Uh, however, like it's extensive features that Bubble offers may present a, a learning curve for beginners. So keep that in mind, but still it's a really great beginner friendly platform, um, especially if you wanna, you know, design really great softwares. Now, second thing, in when it comes to Bold.new, right? It utilizes conversational AI. As I said, you have like AI, um, uh, large language models embedded in Bolt and it also enabling users to describe the application they want. So you just describe application, you get the application and that's pretty much it. Now, while this approach is intuitive, right, especially for those with coding experience, uh, again, as I said, especially for those with coding experience, it does have some flaws. If you want to build like very good applications, like for example, like Bubble does, you cannot really do that. You can you can do the prototypes. You can do small smaller projects like maybe web apps, like you know web calculator or a web image AI image generator or something like that. But in terms of Bubble, you can do much much more, and it's much more customizable. It's much more flexible as well. Now this is what I want to talk about, like customization and flexibility, right? So Bubble does provide like extensive customization options, supporting like complex workflows. Um, you know, responsive designs, integration with various APIs as well. So you don't actually have to know how to integrate with APIs. You can do every single thing through it. As you can see, you also have AI powered no code inside of it. So you basically have bold.new inside bubble, which makes it really a winner here if, if we compare these two tools, right? Um, now, again, as I said, you know, bold.new better for prototyping smaller projects, bubble better for bigger projects and more serious projects, right? with drag and drop, uh, no code approach. So, um, 
in use cases, you know, again, you know, Bubble is suitable for developing the uh, like a more detailed application such as like business software, CRM systems, e-commerce platforms, marketplaces and social media apps. On the other hand, Bold.new best for rapid prototyping again, as I said, you know, various of times in this video and creating minimum viable products or MVPs. For those of you who know what this is, you will know, right? Uh, but again, single function apps and internal tools that require like quick development. So that's what Bold.new is for. Now, in terms of integration, uh, again, a Bubble does support integration with a lot of third party APIs. As I said, Bold.new does offer very limited uh, integration capabilities because it's primarily focused on development, right? Uh, in terms of the learning curve, again, you know, for Bold.new, you will need to uh, know how to code. For Bubble, you have a more learning curve, but you get more out of it, right? So in terms of pricing, right? So Bubble does offer a plan for development with uh, a plan starting at $29 per month. It does offer, again, a free plan, as I said, for development, uh, but for additional features, you will need to pay more. So $29 a month is uh, after a free plan. Bold.new, on the other hand, provides a free tier. I think you can do like five different uh, uh, prompts a day or something like that. Uh, but there is a paid plan, which is $20 a month for like extended usage. So um, yeah, overall, I would say a conclusion is, you know, if you require highly customizable, scalable applications with like complex workflows and integrations, uh, and you're prepared to invest the time in the platform, Bubble is the best for that. If you want something fast, and if you know how to code just a little bit, um, and if you need like rapid prototypes, then Bold.new is better for you. Again, these two apps cannot really compare, uh, or these two platforms cannot really compare in that regard, because again, Bubble is a more serious platform, while Bold.new, while it is serious platform, it is for smaller projects, and uh, Bubble is for more like serious projects and, um, you know, high leverage projects, basically. So, uh, yeah, that's my kind of take on these two. Uh, hope this video was useful to you. Um, if you did uh, watch it, comment below what you think, which one is the winner and why. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.